imagine a world where doctors can diagnose diseases at the press of a button where patients can receive personalized treatment plans strictly on their genetic makeup and where artificial intelligence or ai can help predict prevent and cure illnesses this isn't a science fiction scenario but a reality that's unfolding right between our eyes the presence of ai in healthcare is undoubtable we've seen notable improvements over the last couple of uh, decades and it's greatly improved the rate at which we uh, perform medicine today. However, there are many concerns regarding AI in this field. For one, there's a lot of concern over unemployment and AI replacing the jobs of humans. This, this is very, however, this fear is unfounded as AI is meant to be an assistant or something that we can collaborate with for better and enhanced responses. AI has the power to enhance all of the results that we come out with and even perform much better than what humans do at this current day and age. Another concern that people have is on ethics and bias. It's been shown in studies and other uh, yeah, studies that artificial intelligence has been shown to have a sense of bias in terms of gender and racial bias. Um, on top of this, it, the nature of AI is a sort of black box where it just takes in, um, takes in data and outputs results without us knowing exactly what happens inside of it, makes it hard for us to trust the results. Um, similar to before, these are more challenging issues to tackle. Um, bias can be tackled through using diverse data and um, explainable AI so that we can learn exactly what the model is doing to come up with its solutions. And to tackle ethics, although it's a more complex task, we can utilize regulation and other forms of monitoring and oversight on these models to come up with ways of reducing ethical laws. Finally, the issue of privacy is always a big one when talking about giving uh, uh, unknown computer sources and models access to private data. Um, in the wrong hands, if data is leaked, there's the potential that certain private and personal identification is available to the world. Um, in the wrong hands, such as criminals and hackers and other unauthorized parties, it could uh, cause great negative damage. Um, to ways to mitigate this are already in effect, such as data anonymization and encryption. Um, data anonymization refers to removing personal identification from data and making it more accessible and public rather than linking it to persons. Um, and encryption refers to changing the meaning of certain ideas such as um, different data points in uh, health so that uh, when it's fed into models, the only way that it can be linked back to people and individuals is through a key that's given to a trustworthy individual. However, even with all these concerns, with the right implementations, AI can be a powerful tool. For instance, AI has only been around, well, technically it's been around for a long time, but in the field of healthcare, we've seen lots of advancements over the last 20 years. And during this time, we've seen an increase in the diagnosis rate of multiple diseases, including that of diabetes and diabetic retinopathy by over 50%, an increase in lung cancer uh, mortality rate, a decrease in lung cancer mortality rate by 40%, and a decrease in mortality rate of patients with sepsis by over 15%. Um, in terms of healthcare, AI has also filtered down into the financial uh, aspects with a, with a predicted, law, uh, predicted decrease in financial payments regarding healthcare, over $150 billion. 
in 2026 directly linked to uh, the presence of AI and its increased efficiency. Uh, and finally, um, the presence of AI has also allowed for increased um, drug treatments uh, to be found more efficiently. Um, studies have shown that um, the time necessary to calculate the, the proper drug to, to treat a certain disease has been reduced by over 60% and adverse drug events have been reduced by nearly 80%. Uh, due to the presence of AI models and uh, increased accuracy when compared to their human counterparts. Um, AI has also been seen in more day-to-day -day use. Um, for instance, in a majority of universities of higher education, medicinal students have been um, opened up to the use of utilizing um, AI bots to simulate patient uh, patient and doctor collaborations where the AI bot simulates uh, multiple different individuals um, and acts as different patients to give medicinal students a better understanding and more experience. This has been expanded into other learning experiences and even virtual reality. On top of this, we've seen it in, uh, we've seen it in same thing as sim simple as the Apple Watch. Uh, if you have a newer model of the Apple Watch, AI is periodically checking your heart rate to find any irregular patterns. And if there are any irregular patterns, it can be linked to atrial fibrillation, a disease that if not treated uh, soon enough, can lead to stroke or even heart failure. So the presence of AI healthcare is um, a very powerful tool and with the right uh, with the right precautions taking into place, um, its impact can be maximized while minimizing the negative aspects of it. Um, it's a revolutionary tool and um, its presence can, can be a positive impact um, with the right laws and regulations put into place. Um, uh, I encourage you to um, look at the positive side of it and also advocate for uh, laws and regulation and other um, ethical uh, ethical settings to be put into place to maximize the positive aspect of artificial intelligence and technology and minimize the negatives.